Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, today I'm very proud to stand before the House to introduce a special guest of mine, one that we were all rooting for to carry on the crown from Pennsylvania. But today we have Miss Pennsylvania 2013, Annie Rossellini. And I'm proud to have her here because she's from Butler, and I know our colleagues from all over the place sometimes wonder what we have in Butler, and I'm proud that we have Annie coming here today from Butler. She's accompanied by her mom, Luann, her cousin, and his wife, Eric and Ara Ivana. Mr. Speaker, Annie was crowned Miss Pennsylvania in 2013 and competed in the Miss America contest in the Miss America organization since she was 13. And she's earned her many titles throughout that year. And if you remember, if, for those of us who have been in the chamber long enough, Annie was crowned Pennsylvania's first Miss Outstanding Teen back in 2005. So this isn't her first trip to the Capitol. She's been here before, and we honored her for her past achievements. But we're glad to have her back today. Annie's currently studying public relations and advertising at Point Park University in Pittsburgh with plans to graduate in 2015. She began her college career at the University of Arts in Philadelphia as a dance major, and she has indicated that will be her minor in college as well. Of course, she's been dancing since she was a little kid at Lee's School of Dance back in Butler, and she's been, become quite proficient in all genres of dancing. As I mentioned, her mom is here, Lou, and she travels across the state with her pretty much everywhere for the last year, including uh, a couple weeks ago, well, a couple months ago, we went to the farm show. And so you don't necessarily think of seeing a beauty queen at a farm show, but in Butler County, that's how we do it. And I know she's been to the Butler Farm Show and the Butler Fair. And when I saw her out at the state farm show, it was amazing to see the, the just the, the reaction, especially from the little girls who wanted to have their picture taken with her. She was a real celebrity representing Pennsylvania very well. And she actually got to ride in a celebrity horse riding contest. Hor the draft horses. So she selected heart, heart awareness and prevention uh, as her theme. And she's going to tell us a little bit about that. And I can't think of a better role model for Pennsylvania for the next generation to look up to. She's contributed a lot to our community back home, and now she's contributing a lot to the state of Pennsylvania. I want to personally thank Annie for her leadership, for your great spirit, and your open mind as you represent the Commonwealth. I'm very proud of your accomplishments, and I wish you all the best. Your future is very bright, and I know you will find much success. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. At this time, I'd like to invite Annie to say a few words. This Pennsylvania would just hold on for a second. But appreciate the member's attention. Perhaps clear the aisles, take your seats. Kindly hold the conversations down. Babies are allowed to cry, though. <laughs> We oh won't, we won't stop that. Ms. Pennsylvania, you may proceed. Good afternoon. I would uh, like to thank Representative Ellis for the honor of this citation and for bringing me here today. And of course, to Mr. Speaker for this wonderful opportunity to address the House General Assembly. Thank you. As Brian told you, uh, heart disease awareness is in fact my platform and my mission and has, has been for quite some time now. On April 17, 2010, my world was completely and irreversibly changed. My father, who at the age of 51, was outwardly the picture of health. Yet, he died suddenly and unexpectedly of heart failure. As an 18-year-old about to graduate high school and on the brink of major life changes, I was left with many questions. In an effort to make sense out of the senseless, and in an attempt to find answers as to how and why this happened, I was drawn into working with the American Heart Association. It is a fact that heart disease is the number one killer of both men and women in this country, killing over 600,000 Americans every year. As Miss Pennsylvania in the Miss America Scholarship Organization, I've been able to establish my platform of heart disease awareness and prevention for our future. 
I have used my job as Miss PA as a microphone, literally sometimes, <laughs> to be able to talk to children in schools across the state, keeping my message quite simple. And I encourage them to do just two things, eat nutritiously and exercise regularly in order to hopefully prevent heart disease in their futures. It is really rewarding to see the energy of the young people in our Commonwealth, and through my efforts, I truly hope to make an impact in just some of their lives, if I can. I am very enthusiastic about the unanimous passage of House Bill 1420, ensuring that all newborn babies are tested for congenital heart defects by pulse oximetry. I want to thank each and every one of you for that. I look forward to advocating on behalf of that cause in the coming month or two. I invite you to join me in participating in the AHA's initiative National Walking Day taking place this Wednesday, just two short days away. You can wear sneakers to work here if you want or wherever you're going to end up on Wednesday and uh, try and get 30 minutes of walking in that day to make a small difference in your lifestyle and the lifestyles of those around you. I have found that the process of turning pain into purpose is extremely healing. Thank you again for this opportunity to speak to you today and for the support in helping me make a difference. Thank you, everyone.